Oh, Leffa, it's all going, tit. Are you not working today? Do me a favour. We've got all week off, thank God. We've got enough to do again flipping ready for Christmas. Somehow, doesn't seem much like Christmas this year. How's that for size, love? Mm, just a joke. Seven fifty. Hey, I thought you were supposed to be going away for Christmas. Change of plans. Oh. Well, well it's the best place to be in at Christmas. Hmm? Oh, I would like to be stuck in some hotel with a lot of strangers. Mind you, it seems to suit some folk, doesn't it? Yeah, that's right. Thanks, Al. Come on. Come on. Is it something to upset? Well, it's the season for remembering things, isn't it? Like Len. Well, I thought there'd been compensations for her this year. Anyway, uh, mince me, Sal. I'm sorry, love. No chance. Oh, come on, Alf. I only want a jar. Well, you should have ordered it, love. Well, I forgot, didn't I? Please, Alf, love. You can't not have a mince pie after your Christmas dinner, can you? I'll do the best I can. You're a little Santa Claus, you are. What are you? Mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, you're very welcome to pop down my chimney any time. Third from end. Get off with you. <laughs> Ivy, mincemeat, pest. What have I forgot? Down to this summer. Plum pudding. We had to make do with a tin of rice pudding last year. Look, it weren't all that bad with half a bottle of rum in it. Anyway, I've got plum pudding down. I know, a packet stuffing. Aren't we putting any Christmas decorations up this year? Look, I can't do everything, can I? I'll be out most at day shopping as it is. You know what shops will be like today, but they're packed out. All right, I only ask. Oh, where is the human head job? I've got to get me sleeping ready for tonight. Look, there's no law said you've got to get caught like Christmas Eve, you know. It's what's called an unwritten law, love. <clears throat> Fancy doing some decorating, Dad. Decorating? I'm doing no flaming paper hanging today. It means Christmas decorations. <sighs> oh. Remember when I was a little lad and we used to make paper chains together? Did we? I'm making no paper chains today. I've got other things to do. Oh, I? And supposing I say I'm not going to do shopping today? Oh, now, don't be daft. We get no Christmas dinner if you don't go out and buy in, would we? Right then, if I'm doing the shopping, you can brighten this place up a bit. Yeah, Christmas tree would be very nice, with a fairy on top. <laughs> yeah, you can get one of them and all. <laughs> Christmas trees? Where am I going to get a Christmas tree from? They'll all be gone, won't they? How much are Christmas trees, anyway? At least a fiver. A fiver? You buy a flaming porridge for a fiver? Yeah, well, fairies don't cost much, do they? How's that then? It's brilliant. Where did you learn how to change a bulb? I took a correspondence course. No, it's lovely. What do you think, mm. Kev? Very nice. Right then, what's next on the list? You could cut at market and get veg, could you? Not best till I've gone back time I finish at cafe this afternoon. Yeah, yeah, of course I could. I'll go now. I've got one or two errands to do myself. I'll see you, Kev. See you. You could have gone and got veg. I thought you said I have to pick the turkey up. Make your mind up. You're not going to spoil this Christmas, you know. Spoil it already. Don't be so childish, is it, Egg? That's your opinion. All right, so you don't want to move to Southampton with us? I'm not moving. This is where I live and I'm stopping here. All right, if that's how you feel. But you could at least let it drop for the next couple of days. Try smiling instead of pulling your mug. It's not me who wants to go swanning off to Southampton. It's me dad and her. Her name's Elaine. Elaine! Please don't spoil Christmas, Kevin. I like Christmas. What's that saying, Lawrence Olivier? Is once more into the bar parlour. Breach, love. Once more into the breach. That's what I just said. It's going to be murder down there today. Fellas, what sup mild all year going on to double brandies and feeling randy? I could lose my virginity. Yeah, I don't suppose you'd notice. Watch it, or I'll burn your prezzy. Hey, what you got me? What have you got me? Wait and see. Same to you with knobs on. <laughs> hey, Bet. Yeah? You've not heard any gossip, have you, about Rita and this Tony Cunliffe? Gossip? What sort of gossip? Well, they were supposed to be going away together this Christmas, but she came in this morning, got a turkey, and she seemed a bit down. I wondered if they split up. Well, it's not unknown for our Tony to up sticks, is it? And I mean, from my experience, things like that do tend to happen around Christmas time. Why do you think Ollie's got all them sharp points on it? Hey! Hey! You'll never get that through door, Percy. I think I will, just. Is it your own personal tree? No, no, it's for the party across at Sunday tomorrow afternoon. 
Pick it up from here, was it said? Forgetting to mention it was the original Lonesome Pine. Well, I would volunteer to carry one in for you if I wasn't so beautifully turned out. Oh, it's all right. I'm on his, thanks. Good. Waiting for a boss, duck egg. What's Percy doing with that tree? Well, I think he nicked it myself from Albert Square. Close your eyes if you can't stand a sudden ray of sunshine. <laughs> you do turn up sometimes, then. I've been getting myself dolled up, haven't I? Making a special effort. Somebody's got to compete with all the fairy lights. Yeah, got a bit of news for you. Wasting your time. Not <laughs> nice. How are you, Hilda Love? Oh, I'm all right. It's Galloping Gordon, isn't it? I want this place shining like a new shoe today, Mrs. Ogden. I want it to stand out round here like the Taj Mallet, whatever that might be. He's been following me around, inspecting everything I've done. It's obvious what he's up to. He wants to make a packet over Christmas and then the brewery will... They'll think he's a blue-eyed boy. Mm. Well, he won't be making it on his own, will he? We'll mm. be helping him. Ah, but it's the boss what always takes the credit. Oh, my stand once captured a lorry load of German beer in the desert, but it was the officer what got drunk. Are you two trying to upset me? <laughs> ah, bet. Welcome aboard, just as we're about to sail. Do you make a few pork sandwiches before the rush starts? Food's Betty's job. It's all hands to the pump, Bet, on a day like this. Anyway, it's experience, isn't it? Experience for what? I'm not thinking of opening a transport cafe. I know. A mate in the general office tells me that you've applied for the job of manager here. Is that right? That's right. I have. Well, if you can tell them what a good pork sandwich you make, it might do you a bit of good. You never know. No, you don't, do you? <laughs> did you two know she'd applied? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, we did. Mm. And she thinks she stands a chance with me entered for it as well, as the hot favourite. Yeah, I think she does. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? You know you could run a car off human optimism if only you could get it in the tank. <laughs> well, I'll open up. Now, let's be on our toes today, you know, like ballet dancers. Hey, do you think that stands a chance against him? Well, stranger things have happened, lovey. <laughs> yeah, but not very often. Ooh, talk about Christmas. Sooner it's July holidays, the better. Yeah. Excuse me, missus, you got the price of a cup of tea. What do you want, Tony? A word, please. Come in. I'm sorry about this. I don't want the neighbours thinking you're in trouble with us or anything, but I had to call in Rosamond Street. Oh, I thought you weren't working. No, that's what she away. Oh. With a bloke with kids. Yeah, well, at no point in my not working, was there? I'm not on duty all over Christmas. Oh. So I wonder what you were doing. Well, I've not changed my mind, if that's No, what I don't mean as taking off somewhere. I mean, what are you doing tonight, for instance? Look, Tony, don't you think it's better if we don't see each other? Do you? I don't know. You're not doing anything tonight. No. Neither am I. It's Christmas Eve. What about a drink? Well, no point in us both hanging around the house on our own getting miserable, is there? It's daft. Surely one drink with me is not being disloyal to the memory of your dead husband. No, I'm sorry. Oh, I shouldn't say. It's not a question of being disloyal to Len. It's remembering him. I loved him. How can I forget him? And I'm not being morbid. No, I know you. So what's another question, then, a drink? Well, I don't really fancy sitting at home being miserable. Well, I definitely don't. Oh, oh come on, Ted. Hey, Ooh. put your bag down there. Well, I'll make us a cup, then. Hey, we'll have a little whiskey in it and I'll... A film. I'll tell you what, it's harder work than work is here, isn't it, shopping? That's why I don't do much. Oh. Pinch me somebody, I'm dreaming. Oh, Jack. Oh, isn't that lovely? It does look rather seasonal, doesn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. I never thought you'd get me one. Do you know, it's the first Christmas tree we've ever had. I know, you had that plastic one for years. It was good. Oh, ah, that old thing. No, I mean, first real one. But everything comes to her as weights at the bus stop of life, my love. How much did it cost? Uh, a fiver. Who would you believe I got it cheap? Ha! <laughs> hey, here. Take it. For showing you a human being for once. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Don't suppose you got a fairy, did you? No, really. Be satisfied with one, Mary. Just, just hang on. 
Not any old fairy, but a fairy queen, no less. Oh, Jack. <laughs> oh. I'll do it, I'll do it. Sorry about this, love. How's about that? I think I'm going to cry. Well, I don't blame you, Vera. <laughs> for this mince meat today. I'd have brought this down to your house and made a very nasty scene and done something very rude with it. You can tell Ivy that. Yes, Al. I had to go down on my bended knees at the warehouse to get that. That's the last surviving jar of mince meat in the world. Yes, so. <laughs> it's not funny, you know. It's been like hell on earth in here today, mainly because of women who've forgotten to order stuff they should have done months ago. Why do you suppose us shopkeepers tell you there's so many days to Christmas? So you can sell us a lot more. To keep you on target. Oh, well. We're not very intelligent, Al. It must be very difficult for you, being a superior male. Go on, get off with you. You're my last customer. I'm shutting up. Hey, and if you suddenly discover in an hour's time you've not got enough tin foil to wrap around your turkey, tough. Slap some clay on it. Funny you should mention tin foil. Be out! <laughs> I'm shutting, Percy. Anything you need now, I'll have to wait till Boxing Day. All the Christmas shopping in this shop has come to a full stop. Will you not let me have a packet of tea, then? Packet of tea? Ah, here's my last one. And tea earned this afternoon for pensioners do. Oh, right. How much is that? Nothing. It's my treat for pension as well, in a roundabout sort of way. You know, you've almost restored my faith in human nature. But I'll tell you what, it'll take more than a packet of tea for me to like my fellow men again. Not after the diabolical stroke some rat face louse played across the community centre today. Merry Christmas! Hey, do you think we should bother cooking this turkey tonight? Do you remember what happened last year? We didn't get round to putting it in the oven till five o'clock Christmas afternoon. We ended up having our Christmas dinner at eleven o'clock at night. I know, but I might forget and to come back and turn it off. Hey, I think we should have one of them ovens, you know, that can think for itself. You know, like they advertise on telly. Don't worry, I'll nip home and do it. Are you sure? Got a Christmas tree dinner. Well, I'll sort the turkey out as well. <laughs> You're not having one of them personality changes, are you, Dad? You know what they say at this time of the year? Goodwill towards men? Well, I'm including your mother as well. <laughs> Get right off, you'll spoil me, eh? Well, the only thing I'll be spoiling later. Uh, oh, I think you're on a promise, do you? A few Benedictines down your neck, definitely. <gasps> do you two mind? I am still only 20, you know. Right, so that's me off to the rovers, then. Oh, aren't you waiting for me? I'm just going to get the place warm for you, aren't I? Oh. Ta-da! He's nearly human sometimes, my dad, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, that's when I fell for him, you know. One day when he was young. <laughs> right. Do you know, I don't know whether I've worked time out right to cook this turkey. Mm. Well, it's ten pounds. Yeah. Twenty minutes to a pound. That's Which is two hundred minutes. Or, if you like, three hours, twenty minutes. Dead right. Yeah. Just testing. Right, open that door for me. Down. There we go. Hey, that sounds great, Elaine. It really does. Yeah, I'm missing you. Can't you get a, a bus back up here or something? Or a taxi? Well, I'll pay for it. How much? Oh, maybe I can wait another few days. Yeah, and a Merry Christmas to you, love. Hey, no kissing no sailors while you're down in Southampton. <laughs> Me? No, my life's an open book. All right. I'll see you, sweetheart. Tell a Merry Christmas from me. Oh, Debbie says Merry Christmas. Kevin, no. No, he's out. No, no, change. He still feels the same way. All right, then. Tell her now. Bye. Hey. She thinks she's found an addressing place. Oh, that's great. Hey, how do I look? Smashing. Where is this party you're going to again? I told you umpteen times, Mandy's. So what time does that mean you'll be creeping in? Well, not late. <coughs> uh, not for Christmas Eve, any road. You're going out, aren't you? Yeah, I might just mosey down the Norvers, you know. And see you do. I'm sure Elaine's not expecting you to sit in and all night and watch telly just because she's not here. Of course she's not. She's not like that. What is she like? You're fishing, you are. Go on, tell me. She's terrific. I'm very happy for you, Dad. You do think I'm doing the right thing, don't you? Of course I do. Well, you wasted single. I just wish... That Kevin did. Yep. That's the trouble we'll have. They're not very romantic, as I know to me cost. Well, love, looking at you now, they must be blind. 
Thank you. But if you don't mind, I'll save it till later. You don't want me losing control already, dear, and licking your face. You can do what you like, when you like. As long as I'll be at this point. She just walked in. Oh. Oh, my favourite people. What are you having? I um, thought you were going to pub up, not barmaid. My fault, Vera. I'm just far too attractive. I shouldn't be let out. Mm. That skirt won't let out. That's a fact. Now, now, Vera, we're all supposed to love one another tonight. Do you need an excuse? Vera! Uh, I'll have a snowball, please. Uh, martini lemonade, please, Beth. A uh, pint, please, Jack. Right. And you'll behave yourself tonight. One Christmas tree don't mean your pipe broke, you know. <laughs> yes, Off a bit of... Please! Please. Better. I'll get you that first thing. No, thanks. Not like him to refuse a drink, is that? No. Right, I'm ready. And don't say it last or I'll kick your ankles. <laughs> Just as I was getting comfortable. Well, you can stay there all night. I'm going to roll it. You know, there's a strong possibility that I'm paralysed. Come here. See? You're not paralysed at all. So come on. <laughs> You're a hard woman. You have to be, with coppers like you about. <laughs> you lads all right? Yeah? Not exactly big spenders, are you? You try to tell us something? Only that this isn't a waiting room till you move on somewhere else. <laughs> all right? You know, I don't like him. I never have. You're gonna have to get to like him, mate. He's likely to be a permanent gaffer here. I know. I'll get a petition up supporting Bet. You do that, mate. I will. I'll have him. <laughs> I reckon this Christmas is gonna turn me sour forever. But he's right about one thing, though, isn't he? We're wasting our night here. Anyway, I'm off. And you two can please yourselves what you do. What are you doing, Kev? I suppose anything's better than sitting here all night. I might get a bird, you never know. <laughs> ah, here you are. You fancy a pint? No, oh, just on the way out. Sorry. Um, there's a phone call come. Elaine, wish you a Merry Christmas. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Look, well, I've been thinking. Why don't you come down to Southampton with us for six months? See if you like it. If you don't, you can always come back up here. What do you think? I don't want the family breaking up, Kevin. I don't want the family. <laughs> Fine, please, Betty. OK, Rob. Good night, eh, Bet? Very. Shape of things to come. Christmas Eve doesn't come every night, you know. It will when I'm installed, darling. I'm going to make this pub buzz like a beehive. You can have a pub like this too busy, you know. I mean, folk round here like a quiet drink now and again. Don't be ridiculous. I won't be running it for their benefit. I'll be running it for mine. Yes, sir. Well, I am going to midnight mass tonight. Have I got any volunteers to go with me? Well, don't I'll rush you at once. Hey, and you two are definitely coming. The babysitter won't stop after midnight. She will if I grease a car. <laughs> what about you, Jack? You look as if you could do with a bit of religion. I've been talking to you. What? 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 I said, are you going to midnight mass with me? Tonight? Of course tonight. That's when midnight mass is at night. Oh, no, sorry, Ivy. I've not been to confession. I like to go to church with a very clean soul, you know. <laughs> Play my neck, he'll never go to church. <laughs> and will you take your eyes off that girl? Her husband used to be an SAS, and that thing stood with her now. Mm. Is that a fact? Yeah. Right, same again, it's my show. Yes, please. Is, is that right, he used to be in the SAS? Well, you can always find out. <laughs> go and chat her up and see if you breaks your arm. <laughs> You'd be safe for going to midnight mass, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> what are you having, old Dad? Oh, well, I'm on pork and lemon tonight. Give it a pork and lemon, then. Okay, look, wait, thank you very much. Hey, uh, you can always come over there and join us, you know. You'd be very welcome. Oh, no, I'm all right on my own. I'm just getting quietly sozzled. <laughs> no, I was just thinking of Stan and how he used to enjoy Christmas Eve. Yeah. Can you bring drinks over to the table, Betty? Hey, I thought you were going to stand me up out. Now, would I do that to you? <laughs> no, I fell asleep in chair, actually. They're yeah, fine, please. Oh, <coughs> but see? Well, I was going, but... Uh, Go on, I'll have half with you. Oh, you do speak then? I was beginning to wonder. Somewhat upset you then, Percy. Shall I tell you? Well, you'll feel better if you get it off your chest, won't you? I had a very dirty trick played on me today. Oh, like what? Did you see that big Christmas tree I had this morning? Oh, ah, yeah, I saw it through shop window. Well, I left it outside centre for a few minutes, and do you know what? What? Somebody only cut top of it, you know, to make a Christmas tree for themselves. They never did, did they? They did. Do you know what that tree was for? A party for poor children. Now, what sort of a person to do a trick like that, eh? 
I mean, it makes you sick. Makes you ashamed to live in a country like this. A country I've always told you a standstill for. Is it any wonder I'm upset? Jack Donwell. You lying dog. What's up? It was you, Jack. Oh, it was you called. Oh, Casty, I might get lynched. There's no might about it. I didn't know it was for a fucking kid's party, did I? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so you, uh, you think it's funny, do you? Vandalising the Christmas tree? No, no, personal. I'm oh. laughing about something else, Kit. Glad oh. <laughs> to hear it. Excuse me, lovely. Oh, God's sake. Shut up. Happy to have a white right, smile right, yeah, off your face. Oh, what time did you say you got to turn that turf off? I've got to turn. There's a lemon. Oh, it's flaming, Nora. Hey, if that turf is burning, you'll come back here ever. Mary, listen. Better than the silence. Anything's better than that. Come on, you come here and enjoy yourself. I am enjoying myself. Lovely. Cheers. Cheers. Don't look as if it's off, does it, between Tony and... Uh, Anything but. Ah, I'm glad. He's had a face as long as a fiddle all week. I'm glad too. Good luck. Mind you, if I didn't have getting this pub on my mind, I might have just scratched Rita's eyes out. You need a fella at Christmas. Yeah, you do. Don't keep it to yourself, Hilda. Let's all hear it. <laughs> Silent night, holy night, all is bright, all is bright, round young virgin mind. So you can sing. It was Len's favourite. Well, I think you should definitely go to Midnight Mass with me, Jack Duckworth, if only to thank him for saving your baby. Running a bistro and running to the hospital to see the babies proves a bit of a handful. Perhaps a little outside help is needed at Robin's Nest. Keep it on plus. Oh, yeah.